Okay, so this apartment, the tenant rented a machine three days ago and cleaned it or attempted to clean it. These carpets are soaked all the way through to the pad and it's been three days. So they called me out. There's a bleach stain I won't be able to remove. And if you could hear my foot sloshing around, you would know what I'm talking about. But even this room, there's some red uh, color stains that are probably not going to come out. Some urine stains and a piece of gum that is embedded away in the carpet. I think even a solvent wouldn't uh, pull it out without damaging the fibers. But this is the main culprit. It is full of urine. I mean, I don't think I've seen one this bad. You can see all the urine. Um, and there's some candle wax or something back here. But the carpets are soaked from the machine that he used, which uh, is going to make some of these stains probably permanent. If it's been three days, you know, those urine crystals and salts, they, you can get a, a protein bonding effect that happens and uh, pretty sure they're not coming out all right so like i said i did do that first room there you can see i got a majority of the discoloration out but there are some spots that are permanent i even went over and put a little straight 20 volume to try to lift them and here's what he used all over the house, a couple bottles, and I think he had a purple, super clean purple degreaser that's not really for carpets, but I think that's what he used. So I had to defoam everything. But here's the dining room. The bleach thing obviously cannot be cleaned out, it's permanent. But overall, Got these looking good. They'll probably be dry in about, uh, I'd say three or four hours. I only did a 50 foot hose run, so I tons of suction. And I deodorized this thing. I even brought in my can of uh, pet smoke odor and sprayed the walls window seals everything so pretty amazing the gum and the red stain i couldn't get that out without risking damaging so i appreciate you guys watching